Okay, buckle your fun belts because it's about to be a wild ride. Now, it's a secret to nobody that YouTube's copyright system is full of more bullshit than a constipated bull. However, I understand the need to keep copyright content secure, and I see why they do what they do. Now, if you've never uploaded a video, or you've never uploaded a video and had a copyright strike, and you don't know how it works, the way it works is, every time you upload something to YouTube, YouTube systems automatically scan it for any copyrighted content that's ever been claimed by anybody. And if it finds something, whoever is responsible for maintaining the rights of that content is free to do whatever they want with it. They could either choose to allow it to stay on YouTube and continue to monetize it, it just they'll get all the ad revenue, or they can take it off of YouTube completely. Now, again, I understand exactly why they do this, and I'm fine with it. I've had a couple of copyright claims on me already, but until this point, they've all allowed the video to remain on YouTube, which is really all that I care about. But now, I go onto my video and I see this bullshit saying that my video was claimed by UMG and that it cannot be viewed. Now, like two weeks ago, I uploaded a video called I Love Knowledge, which was just a mashup of Asher Ross, I Love College, and Ty Lopez's Here in My Garage video. And that, that got a copyright claim but it was allowed to stay up and stay on YouTube. And that was fine. But I liked doing that so much, I went into Windows Movie Maker and I just made the rest of that video, I did that to the entire video, and what I got, the end result, was a four and a half minute music video, pretty much. Now, it was by no means a good video, but I liked making it, and I liked the end result, so I thought, okay, you know what, this can go up there. And... Immediately after the video was done processing, I noticed that it had not one, but two copyright claims on it. One from everyone who put a copyright claim on the first video, saying that it was allowed to stay up but it had to be monetized. And a second one, saying that the video would be banned worldwide. Now, what that means is that I can watch the video, but you can't watch the video, your friend can't watch the video, your mom can't watch the video, your fucking dog can't watch that video, if you live on planet Earth. So, I, I went for an appeal, because I, I'm not a law expert, but I do have a basic understanding of fair use law. And what fair use law states is that as long as your video is transformative, um, is not unintentionally or unnecessarily cruel, and not entirely, but in part, is it monetized. There are a couple of other factors that go into determining whether something is copyright infringement or fair use, but as long as it travels along those lines, usually, as case law shows, um, it's been deemed fair use. And that's every part of my video. But what really licks a dog's asshole is that the block of video that UMG decided was too unfit for the world's eyes, or it violated some copyright law, wasn't even entirely Asher Raw's video. In fact, most of that video was in the original video that I uploaded. So as soon as I saw that, I immediately realized what the fuck was gonna go down with this video. So I went and I posted this on Twitter and it stayed up for a whole 10 minutes or so until I realized that once I filed an appeal on the video, it would be viewable for a short time. Now here's where things start to get interesting. As soon as the video was put back online, I noticed that, coincidentally enough, a big chunk of video, right around the time that was copyright claimed, was just missing. It was just, it was frozen, is the best way to describe it. It, it looked like this. It was just like a minute and a half of this, so I thought, okay, I can't leave this up here. But I'm going to assume that the problem wasn't with UMG, it was with YouTube's uploader, because I went back and I re-uploaded the video, and I went back through the appeal process a second time, and the video came out perfectly fine. Now, it's been about a week, and UMG has already decided, fuck you, Jester, we're going to stand by our copyright claim, and you're not going to be able to show this video to the rest of the world. This beautiful, magnif magnificent piece of artwork. The video does not violate YouTube's policies nor does it violate any sort of copyright law. 
So what UMG is doing is 100% illegal. But honestly, I'm not gonna fight it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take this any further, because I first of all I knew this would happen. That's why I have all of these pictures and all of this video, is because I completely expected this to happen, and lo and behold, it fucking did. And plus, even if I did take this all the way to court, I'd get shut down so fast it wouldn't even fucking matter. So. What I'm going to do is, because the problem that UMG had with my video was actually the video part of it, I'm probably just going to re-upload the whole thing in audio format. It's not going to be as cool, and it's not really what I wanted, but it looks like the only thing I can do. And I'll probably, ha they'll probably have a problem with that too. I fully expect to see more issues. I don't feel like this is the end of all these issues. But, uh... Yeah, that's basically it. I just had to get that out there. Now, fuck you, UMG. You can suck on my balls.